Hey everyone, today I'm diving into a story that's been making waves in Zimbabwe and beyond. We're talking about Mary Mubaiwa, the ex-wife of Zimbabwe's Vice President, Constantino Chiwenga, and the controversial series of events that have unfolded around her. Let's get some background first. Mary Mubaiwa once stood beside Chiwenga as his wife, a prominent and influential figure in her own right. Fast forward to now, she's embroiled in a whirlwind of legal battles. She's facing charges of attempted murder, money laundering and fraud. Pretty heavy stuff, right? But here's where it gets even more intense. Mary Mubaiwa's health has taken a severe hit. She's already had her right forearm amputated due to lymphedema and just recently she underwent another surgery. Her health is deteriorating and she's been in and out of court in very dire conditions. Imagine attending your trial in an ambulance. That's her reality. Critics argue that Chiwenga has been inhumane in his treatment of Mari Mubaiwa. They claim that his team confiscated her passport, effectively barring her from seeking medical treatment outside Zimbabwe. If true, this raises serious questions about the lengths he's willing to go to keep control. Now, let's talk about Chiwenga's new wife, Colonel Miniothabo Baloyi Chiwenga. She's taken over the leadership of Miss Universe Zimbabwe and she's stepping into the spotlight with a clean slate. An army colonel, a successful businesswoman and fluent in multiple languages, she's quite the opposite of Mubaiwa's current predicament. But let's not forget, while Baloyi Chiwenga is celebrated, Mubaiwa's life is in shambles. The stark contrast between these two women's lives is jarring. One is thriving, while the other is fighting for her life and freedom. And the allegations against Mubaiwa, they're serious, attempting to murder Chiwenga by denying him medical treatment and interfering with his equipment. If proven, they paint a dark picture. But Mubaiwa vehemently denies all accusations. This has led to speculation about whether this is a case of revenge. Abuse of power in Zimbabwe's elite circles isn't unheard of. Some critics suggest that the anti-corruption drive is sometimes a weapon used against dissenters. Is Mubaiwa a victim of such a tactic? It's a question that lingers. As the trial drags on, her health continues to decline. The court has postponed proceedings multiple times due to her condition. This raises concerns about her right to a fair and speedy trial. Is justice being delayed or are her rights being trampled in the process? So how inhumane is VP Chiwenga to marry Mubaiwa? The truth lies somewhere in the tangled web of power, health and legal battles. As the world watches, one can only hope that justice in its truest sense will prevail. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more updates on this and other pressing stories. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.